investment spot, make sure you seek out one of the real estate professionals at First Realty Group. You can see their listings at www.frg1.com. Call them at 363-2644 or visit them on the east side of the Pulaski Square. Just look for that big rocking chair and find out why First Realty Group is first for a reason. Computer viruses, malware, and ransomware are out there. They're dangerous, and they can steal your identity and damage your equipment. The PES Energize IQ app ensures what's outside your network stays outside your network by working quietly in the background. Let PES Energize help out. Give us a call at 363-2522. Are you ready for your next challenge? I'm Ryan Cox with Giles County Fire Rescue. Seven stations in Giles County have fired up the call for volunteers to join forces for fire protection and emergency rescue response. No matter where you are in Giles County, there's a place to serve near you. Giles County Fire Rescue is always looking for bright and enthusiastic people to volunteer. Our members come from all walks of life. Serve and protect your family, your friends, your neighbors by volunteering with Giles County Fire Rescue. To volunteer or donate, visit our website at Giles County Fire Rescue. Owning a business can be incredibly rewarding, but it's not without risk. Business insurance steps in to assist in managing the risk that comes with owning and operating a company. Let the folks at Alsop and Associates Insurance assist you in finding the coverage that is right for you. Whether you have a small startup or run a large-scale business, let the friendly professionals at Alsop and Associates be your local agents for all your insurance needs. For more information, call 363-1501 or visit online at alsopins.com. Hi, I'm Hagen Haney, and I want to tell you about Haney Realty and Property Management. It's my dad's business, but he has a lot of really nice and smart people who work with him. When people want to sell or buy a house or some land, they call my dad and his friends at Haney Realty and Property Management. It must be a lot of fun because every time I see them, they're smiling. Haney Realty and Property Management is your best friend in real estate. Give them a call at 347-9150. If you're looking to spread the word, look no further than Holly's Printing, where Giles Countyans have been printing for more than 60 years. Signs, banners, wall graphics, autographs. Printing will help you get the word out in stock. I'm an agent. You're working with someone who's a part of your community. When you choose a local Remax agent, you get the technology. If you're looking, Camp Staffing LLC is Giles County, and they care. us on Facebook, 450 Bennett Drive, staffing.net. Owning a business can be incredibly rewarding, but it's not without risk. Business insurance steps in to assist in managing the risk that comes with owning and operating a company. Let the folks at Alsop and Associates Insurance assist you in finding the coverage that is right for you. Whether you have a small startup or run a large-scale business, let the friendly professionals at Alsop and Associates be... For First Realty Group, connecting buyers and sellers goes hand-in-hand hand with supporting their neighbors, schools, teachers, local businesses, and organizations. First Realty Group also loves putting sold signs on their clients' properties. Sold sign. Call 363-2644 and visit them at frg1.com. Hi, this is Jen Williams with Giles County Fire and Rescue. Responding to 350 incidents per year from seven locations throughout our county, Giles County Fire and Rescue exists to save lives and protect property. Giles County Fire and Rescue offers the highest level of skills and training, and we are committed to the safety of our community and our responders. Regardless of where you are in the county, there's a Giles County Fire and Rescue station near you. Visit our website at gilescountyfirerescue.org. Last Computer coffee, I want everybody, just to make sure everybody knows our team I'll just go through everybody uh, the one that keeps us standing and everybody um, in line and Bay singer is um, here um, our director of communications and special programs McKenna Eddy and our newest which y'all all here have heard me talk about having a fourth employee um, Amanda McGowan uh, started with us you might recognize her face she's been helping us on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, the over the past year but we um, she just started full time with us to work on what she is our experienced specialist. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're super excited to have her helping us with tourism. Uh, so we're, we're excited to have um, a staff of four. We've never had four before. <laughs> uh, and so I know you've heard me say that before. A um, couple of things we are kicking off the year um, in a big way. Um, we have voting live right now. It's um, live till Friday, right? Friday, what time? Noon? 
Friday at noon because we've got to turn the winners in so that we can get um, the awards ordered in time for the bash. The bash tickets are live. Um, if you're a nominee, we have a code for you. Uh, so please let us know because we want you to be our guest. We'll also recognize um, um, anniversaries in our um, in the chamber membership. We have some 50-year members this year, but we're super excited. Next year, we'll even have some 80-year members. Uh, so that is so fun. Now, your chamber is was born in 1908. Um, and so that's very cool. But in 1969 is actually when the state decided that we needed to um, file articles and everybody started doing that. So that's really how they count how old we are. So we're really, though, um, 1908, we just started putting things on paper a little bit later. Um, so chamber bash tickets, go vote um, till Friday. Chamber 101 is on Friday, so vote and then come to the office. But let us know, we'll have lunch for you. What Chamber 101 is, we're gonna do this quarterly. If you haven't been to one, just come, which a lot of you, if you're at a coffee, you're the cream of the crop anyways. Um, but Chamber 101 is a way for you to just kind of review what is your chamber membership doing for you? What can you get out of your chamber membership? And what do we do all day? Um, so you come hang out with us for about an hour or longer. We'll talk to you as long as you want to. And we have some, uh, and we have some yummy food. Just come have lunch with us and we'll just review what am I buying. Um, so we're happy to do that. Just, um, you can let somebody know before you leave and we can sign you up. Um, or, um, or you can go online and do it yourself. Also, last thing is just to save the date. This is gonna surprise us till we get used to it, but what used to be the ladies' luncheon is now Girl Power Hour, and we celebrate that on International Women's Day, March 8th. Uh, so if you, uh, I want you to save the date, but I also want you to uh, dig deep in your love for the chamber because that is one of two chamber fundraisers that we have each year. So our membership, we're proud to have our membership fund um, our, our infrastructure that walks us in the door every day, but a little extra income from our fundraisers helps um, all the improvements that we're doing in our office uh, and our beautiful, beautiful historic building that we're blessed with. So, um, so mark your calendars for that, and that's kind of what we have going on, but I know a lot of you have a lot going on too, and we want to hear from you. We had a last hour um, chamber member join C and B Lennon. Anybody know C and B Lennon? They're out of Waynesboro. Very cool. We'll hope to get them to a coffee so that we can uh, meet them soon. Bob Dental joined cha the chamber. I think Sydney. She had, she's in the back. Hey, there you are. Oh, yay! Wonderful. It, when we go around, introduce. Okay. Um, Av Medical, we're um, glad to have Av Medical. Now that is um, Troy Mizell's side um, after um, Av Care became Av Care and Av Medical. They're out uh, doing some fantastic things at the old Timken building. So you will hear more and more about Av Medical. Uh, we're glad to have Reeves Drugstore back. We signed, uh, Mayor Brindley read a proclamation for them yesterday, 131 years, is that what the number was? That's very cool. So um, there's going to be some big things coming um, out of Reeves. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to have a ribbon cutting on another um, service. And it's um, not on the drug side. It's on the yummy side. So stay tuned um, for that. And then Boykin's Cleaning and More. Um, wanted to make sure a representative for them was not here. Um, we're so glad to have these new members. Um, talk to them. We have 46 new members in 2022. Is that not incredible? Okay, but here's what we have to do. We have to support them. I have been looking at numbers and we have to keep these businesses going. We have to support them, keep them going. Over half of those will not be in business next year. So if you want a list of who those are, we're certainly happy to share those with you so that we can talk to them, see what they need, check on them just from a fellow business owner, business manager standpoint um, so that we can make sure we keep these. We want to keep these businesses. I don't care if they stay chamber members. I just want them to stay in business. Uh, so that's going to be uh, something that we're really focusing on um, this year is, is that number of folks that we have joined the chamber and then in a year or two, 
we're going, where are they? And they're gone. Um, so with that, I am going to chase you around. If you have, I muted myself. Um, if you have an announcement, just give me a little heads up so that I can um, come to you with the microphone. Um, Wait, I'm going to move. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh, there you are. You keep moving around. <laughs> All right. Um, any announcements? I'm coming back to y'all's team. Announcements? Any announcements? Okay, raise your, I need a hand. Come to the front. Come towards me. Come towards me. All right, I'm going to Laura and Connie first. Griffin, you make your way up. Okay, come over here. <laughs> okay. All right, All right. Laura McMasters, UT Southern Alumni Association. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you. I uh, wanted to share with you that January 30th through February 4th is going to be I Heart UT Southern Week. And we'll. That's every week. Well, we do love it every week, but that week we're particularly highlighting I Heart UT Southern Week. And on Thursday, February 2nd, is going to be our day of giving this year. And yesterday we kicked off uh, preparation for that event. We have a I Heart UT Southern t-shirt now for sale, and that link will be available on social media as soon as I'm done here. So. Awesome. Yep. Laura, do we have to be alumni of UT Southern to support the Alumni Association? Oh, no, no, no. You, anybody, everybody can support the university. <laughs> uh, yeah, and every gift counts. It doesn't matter if it's $10 or multiply 10 times 1,000, you know? Um, everything helps, and every gift while we are a state institution, every gift helps us take things further. It's the icing on the cake for faculty development, for lab supplies, for student travel, uh, and more. Awesome. Thank you so much. You. All right, for the entertainment for your day. Uh, Connie Boring, CNC Travel. Do you need me to hold this for you? I, I can do it, I All think. All right, okay. don't punch Thank any you. buttons on. Oh, no promises there. Good morning, happy new year to everyone. Do you know what today is? Today is January and it's first of the year. It's the best time ever to plan a trip because you get the trip done and you just sit there and wait on it and I take care of everything for you until it's time. <laughs> I also want to remind you, if you've listened to the news, you know that uh, the F, the FC, F, all the airplanes have been grounded for an hour because of problems with a computer. Hmm, wonder about that. So I hope you don't have anybody in the air. I uh, also wanted to remind you that there are so many different ways to travel and so many different places to go. I'm working on a local right now that wants to travel on the Viking River Cruise down the Rhine in Europe. Me too. And I can fix you up. I was so excited. I can't wait to tell them that the package that they have going right now until the end of the month, uh, the cost to fly from Nashville to Amsterdam is $2,000 a person. That's $4,000 a couple. And that is complimentary right now with the package they have going. So it is amazing. I was like, get out. I can't believe that. So whether you want to go someplace in the United States or the beach or the Caribbean or an Alaskan cruise, now's a great time to book because then you don't have to think about it anymore until it comes up. And I'll take care of you, I promise. That's awesome. <laughs> and if anybody needs, you know, like, that fourth rider on the, you know, you don't want Absolutely. it to be awkward at an amusement park. Or, number. Yes, exactly. yes, you just, you just let me know. Yes, all right, I had somebody, all right, well, I know I'm coming to you, Lee, because you got something good to say. All right, Griffin. All right, so I'm Griffin with First National Bank, and we have a new employee and a new service that we offer, so this is Mary Beth Camp, and not to bounce on her thunder, so I'm going to go. We're learning. We're, <laughs> we're learning. learning. <laughs> so I'm going to let her introduce herself and kind of what she does. And make sure I don't press buttons. Don't press, no buttons. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mary Beth Camp. I have joined First National and I am the Treasury Sales Manager. So what I do is I work with Treasury. I am, and what people ask me all the time, what is Treasury Management? Well, I work with businesses and I sit down and we kind of look at the structure of your accounts. Are they structured the way they need to be? Can we look at different structures? Do you have the protections you need? Do you have the fraud protection? Fraud's high right now. We're seeing it everywhere. So do we have those protections in place to keep you from falling victim to fraud? You know, what services can we provide that will help you maintain your cash flow? Keep the cash longer, get payables in quicker. That is kind of what I look at doing. Um, and First National has brought me on to continue to do that. So thank y'all, thank y'all for having me. Very cool, very cool. Thank you.
That's that's a new one for me. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Welcome. All right, Lee. All right. There was a big day in December. It was. What happened at Direct Auto in December? We were surprised by uh, our district manager, uh, the regional VP, and then one more member, and they came in and announced that we were Office of the Year for the entire nation, uh, 538 offices. Oh, uh, they uh, a real big accomplishment. Surprised us, but uh, you know, Tammy also and I, uh, we, we work very hard and you know, try to represent Pulaski and I think we did. I'd say so. You said 538, 538 across offices. the country and you're number one. We're number one. Love it. Love it. We won't wait. See? So that's where the, bo uh, the bar is. Okay? <laughs> All right. Who else is number one in their company? <laughs> Uh, wonderful! Congratulations! We are so, so proud of you. Pr so yeah, proud man. of you. All right, who else? Look, at, all right, Stan. Stan, I need you to come up here because I feel Tammy Pertowski telling me to quit turning my back to the camera. <laughs> all right, hey, we're all here. At, good, can you hear me? We're all here as businesses, but uh, we're also uh, individuals. And at my uh, law firm, Pertowski Estate Law, Pertowski Elder Law, uh, we deal with individuals and their their planning and that. And we, what we do is we hold these free educational seminars from time to time. And if you've not been to one, um, if you decide to come to it, 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 be prepared for a lot of information. The girls in the office call my seminars a fire hose of information. And, and they're right, and it's a lot, because it, you know, it's not a free dinner and you just sit and listen to a sales pitch. It's actual, we discuss the kind of options you have, what kind of planning there is. Uh, we, talk, we, we call it wills, trusts, and the nursing homes. So we talk about a last will and testament, what it does, what it doesn't do, and it probably would surprise you what it doesn't do. We did talk about trust plans, what the problems that they solve. And then we also talk about how to keep from going broke if you or a loved one ends up in the cost of long-term care. So anyway, we're given one of those coming up here on the 21st, which is Saturday, which we do a couple of those every year on Saturdays. Um, and we're doing it actually over in Lawrenceburg at the WLX uh, uh, radio station. In the back of the radio station, they have a place called the Country Cafe. And it's, a, it's, that's, it's an old bowling alley building. There's a lot of room. And then, uh, so we're doing that coming up on Saturday the 21st at 10 a.m. And we're doing another one here in Giles County on February the 16th. Uh, it's a Thursday, which we do at 2 o'clock. So, so, you know, if, you want, if you're interested in that, it takes about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. I know Chuck has been to one, and um, some folks in here have. I've seen some, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, come listen to what we have to say and uh, see if it's something, you know, for, that fits your family. Like I said, we're big on education. We want to show you what the options are. We want you to decide what best fits your circumstances for your family as an individual, what problems you may want to solve, and then, and then we can talk about it. So uh, call the office, get the information for that if you want to sign up for it. So good to see you, everybody. <laughs> now, you. now, the microphone's probably going to get taken over here in just a minute by someone else. <laughs> yeah, another Prochowski. Another Prochowski. Any more Prochowskis in the room? Any more? Oh, oh look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, goodness. So good to see everybody. Like Stan said, this is super exciting to see this large group. Um, Star Theater at Antoinette Hall. Uh, we are really cranking up with a fantastic season this year. We've applied for rights for Mama Mia, Always Patsy Cline, Newsies, Wizard of Oz for the kids. We've got the play that goes wrong coming up that's a comedy um, that's really fun. Of course, another hee haw. Um, talent shows, I mean, co comedians coming. We have so many fantastic things coming up at Star Theater. And of course, um, we're still making progress um, on Antoinette Hall. Uh, we kind of feel like this is going to be our year. So um, if you want to get involved with anything we do down there, we are a nonprofit, 501c3, all volunteer organization. And we welcome you, your kids, anybody who wants to get involved to come down and see what we're doing. So um, thank you. Awesome. I'm excited. I have a five-year-old now. She's going on the stage. Wizard of Oz is happening. Um, all right. Any other announcements? Come on, Margaret. All right. All right. Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to see all of you here this morning. It's fantastic. And this is just a really, Jessie hit was spot on when she said, we're here to support each other. So I'm Margaret Campbell. I'm with MPS, Medical Personnel Services. We provide um, medical um, staffing for anybody that needs it. Um, schools, uh, jails, uh, long-term care facilities, rehabilitation facilities, hospitals, anybody who is in the market for a nurse, we'll place physical therapist, any other kind of therapist we can 
can uh, sponsor. We're glad to do that. This is Eliza Marsh. She is our crack <laughs> <laughs> staffing specialist. So if you know anyone who is in the market for a job in that arena, or if we can help any of you, support any of you in any way with our services, we would be happy to do that for you. Thanks so much. Um, I, I have to, uh, can you tell me more about a crack specialist? <laughs> just, just a quick, like what arena are we in here? <laughs> So um, right now we are the preferred provider for NHC locations, so we mainly staff for them, but we're branching out. Margaret's yes, got a great marketing plan in the works, and we're trying to branch out and get some more clients in and just hiring really great nurses, CNAs, like she said, therapists. We're trying to branch out to anything um, and just, yeah, trying to help businesses and support them any way we can. Okay. Is CRACK an acronym? <laughs> <laughs> we're just, that's a great name. Very catchy. Very catchy. You might get a lot of calls. A lot of calls. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I love it. I love it. I love a good catchy name. I thought I did really good with experience specialists. Awesome. Awesome. Thank y'all. Any more announcements? All right. Oh, Sydney, introduce your guest. Tell me your name again. You don't have to come up. Jerica. Jerica. Jerica, it's very nice to have you. She is with the Five Dental Pulaski office. Five Dental Pulaski by Walmart. Chuck, there no, you no, are. No, no, you were no, right no. behind me. Oh my gosh, I turned around. Tell everybody the restroom is away from Oh, <laughs> Chuck's worried everybody needs a restroom break. No, we're ready for you, Chuck. All right, um, so we are going to turn the program over to our host. Our host um, requested to go last. I'm going to turn around if that's okay. Swap with you, Wade. Um, I'm going to turn the mic over to our host. Our host asked to go last, so uh, he's going to introduce his team and Ace Solar. And uh, don't forget, um, if you want a re coffee refresher or a donut, this which is where I'm headed. So, uh, Chuck, I'm going to turn this over to you, okay? Don't punch any buttons. <laughs> There we go. I would like to welcome all of you to our yellow building. <laughs> Hope you all like the slides here. We'll keep it rolling to keep you interested so you don't listen to what I say. Back about four years ago, we had a big, beautiful building which needed some roof repairs. I had my field supervisor at that time that was a professional painter and a historian to go out and find the color that represented the 1980s, I mean, excuse me, 1800s, <laughs> and that I could relate to our business. Guess what color she picked? <laughs> You're right, yellow. <laughs> so after consulting a few of our leaders, we started painting our building. If you remember, I was almost ran out of town. I was called everything in the book. But no one asked me why. Why yellow? Well, the money man behind this business has a little yellow tint to it also. Ace would not be here without it, and neither would you. So I guess you can say that I worship my partner every night. Like the song from the play Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow, but bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun just thinking about tomorrow. And that's all we do here is think about tomorrow. <clears throat> so that... So that's why everything in ACE is yellow. I'm not blind, I'm not crazy. <laughs> it's for a reason. So it's yellow for the sun. And like Paul Harvey says, or used to say, and now you know the rest of the story. Okay? I would like to thank the Chambers to allow ACE to be the first of the year 2023 for allowing us to do this. <clears throat> I thank Jesse 
Ann, McKenna, and the rest of your team, and the citizen media. Again, we get to be the first on that. We thank you and hope it turns out all right. If it doesn't, trash that thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> as we all know, we are only as good as the people we have around us. This could not happen without those people. Please allow me to introduce my team. Everybody needs a banker, right? <laughs> I've been with this bank since 2000. They have treated me so good that we're still together. I've got Dar or, uh, Hagen and Daryl, CBNS Bank. We have my wife that if you guys don't eat up all that stuff out there, I'm going to have to sleep on the curb tonight, okay? So make sure you clean up out there. My son, Gavin, Mike, Bill, Dustin, Jackson, Daniel, and Mickey. And Marcelle is back in the back. She snuck in behind me. Ah, there she is. But without these people, nothing would happen as like you guys in your business. Uh, we thank them for making this organization and especially allowing me to be involved with it. Thank you all. <clears throat> Solar, it works, guys, when it's done right. Since 2013, this company has built over 202 solar installations within a 100-mile radius of this building. 202. How many of my customers are here right now? One, two, three. If you have any questions about how good we are, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this, this, his father was one of our first customers back in 2013. And you'll see a picture of him up here somewhere, but anyhow. <clears throat> if you have any questions about how ACE does, talk to these people. We've got John Hornbuckle, Mike Adair, Brad Butler, and Daniel Roberts. Talk to them while you're here. <clears throat> For all you business people that have been thinking about solar, now is the time to react. With the new Inflation Reduction Act passed in 2022, you could get up to 110% of your investment returned to you within three years. Now, where can a business person invest $100,000, get it all back within three years, and have it working for you, making money for you for the next 25 years? Doesn't happen, guys. Solar does work. And I'm not going to go into a solar speech because that's for when we get together. But if anybody's interested, we have a, a calendar here and a sign-in sheet. Come and fill it out. Pick a date that you want me to come out. And I'll come out. I'll spend an hour with you. It takes about an hour for me to tell you what solar can and cannot do. <clears throat> Now, we've all seen on the news and everything else about these solar companies taking advantage of people, going bankrupt, pink energy, uh, home entertainment. Um, when you're dealing with solar, going to deal with solar, make sure you do your due diligences. Call TVA or get on TVA's website. Make sure that TVA has approved the person you're talking to. Talk to your local electrical inspector. Talk to your local electric company like PES. Ask them, have you ever heard of these people? Let them tell you before you invest hundred plus thousand dollars. It's a very big investment, solar is. But it, like I said, it pays you back in a very short time. Um, so right here it is if you want to sign up. And I hope that you all, I mentioned this a minute ago, all enjoyed the setup back here that my wife has made. 
Um, again, please clean it up. <laughs> um, and I hope, I can't, I don't see where Andrea's at. Uh, she was the very, there she is. She was the very first one to pull in on our parking lot out here. <laughs> That's a big honor. That, that parking lot has been secured for almost a year. Uh, you did it, so we thank you. Um, if you'd like a tour of the facility, you're in about a third of it right here. If you'd like a tour of the facility afterwards, ask any of these people up here, and they'll walk you through. It is very large back here. I mean, we have a very nice facility. So, um, Jesse, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chuck, for being a great host. Thank you, Citizen Media, for going live. We'll get used to this, right? We can adapt to anything. Um, oh, we. Oh, yes, thank you. Great idea, something we've worked so hard on. Um, all right, so we have two um, new ways to communicate with um, you guys. So um, a lot of folks do not think about going to um, the Chamber's calendar. Well, with this, um, you can scan this on your phone and it will subscribe you to the Chamber's calendar. Um, if you have a Samsung, you'll have to talk to uh, Casey. Where was Casey? He was the only one at the meeting the other day with a Samsung. I don't know what happens when you scan a QR code with a Samsung. If you have Apple, anybody else in the room can help you. Um, but this will put our Chamber events right on your phone and you will have a calendar. Um, also, this will pop up a new text message. We have a text messaging system now, and I sent a little text out last night, said, can't wait to see you all in the morning for coffee. Um, we will not text you every day. We will not text you maybe even every week. Um, this is solely for um, us to talk to you, not everybody else. We're not gonna monetize this. Um, so support Girl Power Hour so I don't have to monetize the text messages, okay? <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. But um, we just, everybody has just, if I could just get one little heads up about that coffee. Um, but we'll tell you when it's the last day to sign up for XYZ, um, when the coffee and where we're going, um, all those little things. But not often, it's just little uh, gentle reminders. So. Uh, scan each of these and you will be in the know all the time and then of course uh, Chuck has his calendar and his sign up sheet and uh, we appreciate everybody and I think 23, 23 is going to be a fantastic year for our community and we look forward to seeing you um, at the bash on the 26th. Um, so thank you very much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.